Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. So I'm just in Pertumna. I've got my two big boxes of craft books in the boot of the car and I've just gone into the charity shop and they don't actually want them. They have too much stuff. And I did say to them, these would make really lovely Christmas presents. And they still said, um, no, we don't have enough room for them. Can you keep them until after Christmas? Oh, I'm sure most of the charity shops are in the same boat at the minute. You know, they're probably overrun with people. But I do know that in January, they're going to be overrun even more because, you know, we all do the old clean out for January. So, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed in that. <laughs> it's not as though I'm bringing in my rags. But anyway, I will, char I will try another charity shop. So, um, Karis has an appointment with the opticians this morning. She is short-sighted and she's finding it difficult lately to see in the distance. Now, she hasn't really noticed so much because if she was at school or whatever, she'd be looking at, like, the boards or, you know, looking at a distance. But seeing as she's, like, remote learning, she's not. And when they go into college, it's all on computers. I have forgotten the stand for my phone this morning, so that's why it's wobbling around a bit. Um, so, yeah, she's gone off for her appointment now to see her eyes are and I'm going to drop off a few to the post office and I'm also dropping in um, a little present and a card to the, the girl in the post office who found us one day and Mindy and I got the cutest little card. Now I couldn't get one with little black cats on the outside but I did find this really cute card. Look at that and it's in a ball of wool. Can you imagine if Wanda and Mindy got their hands on a ball of wool and it says thank you and there's a little bit of glitter in it. So I've just said in the card, because this girl knows me really well, and she's, I just said to Emer, because her name is Emer, obviously. <laughs> Thank you for finding us a home. We love our new mammy. She is amazing. Love from Wanda and Mindy. And I even did some little paw prints. <laughs> so yeah, I know Emer's going to think, oh, there's Andrea blowing her own trumpet, but she knows me well. She knows. She knows I'm hilarious. <laughs> So um, I'm going to drop that down now uh, to her when I drop in the post. And what's the other thing I have to do? I think that's about it. Oh, I'm going to go into the chemist and I'm going to like um, get some Lemsip and things because I feel much, much better today. The old icky stomach is gone today. Um, but I definitely feel, I think it's because, you know, when you slow down and then your body all of a sudden goes, oh, I can get ill now. I can be sick. <laughs> <laughs> this um, this used to happen to me all the time at Christmas. Um, so I've just kept kind of busy the last few days because I don't want my body to actually recognise that I'm not as busy as normal. So, um, yeah, I'm going to stock up on the limb sip because I always find if I don't feel great going to bed, if I take a limb sip, yeah, it kind of sorts me out. So I am in my scarf. I forgot my jacket and it's actually cold out. And I have got my... Billy glitter sweater on and I love it it's just so cozy and I've got a little pair of shoes on today that have leopard on them as well so I'm double leopard and I have a funny feeling I may have I have a stash of face masks in the car funny feeling I might have a face mask in, in um, leopard as well so I could be treble leopard <laughs> oh oh and if I wore oh I've got gloves I could put my gloves on would that make me like quadruple leopard I really have to find that face mask now can you ever do too much leopard I don't think so <laughs>
Right, so I'm back in the warm car. <laughs> Was I ever so sorry not to have a jacket in the car today? It's Baltic out there. So I've dropped off my post. Just went um, triple leopard. I've obviously left the leopard print face mask in the house. How annoying is that? <laughs> but um, yeah, I just recorded a little snippet there of a shop window that's in town. And I know I included this the evening that I did the little walkabout to town with all the lights on. But that is a, um, I oh, just got a message from Karis to say she's done. Um, that is a window display in this lovely little shop of all kind of country antiques. Very hard to describe the shop, but really pretty. You know, the sort of one that you walk in and you admire everything, but you kind of, you really want to buy something. So I haven't actually bought anything. Lola, is it tablet time? Oh, good girl. Well done. That's it. So look who I've just brought up to my sewing room. And they've just had their food, so they smell of cat food. And they're so happy, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little cat burp. Okay, now, there you go. So yeah, anything could happen. Uh, let me see, where did I leave off today? Oh, I've just brought up some interfacing as well. Um, oh yeah, okay, so last time I was talking to you all, I was in my car. I think I have to get a different tripod. This one is at a bit of a weird height. Oh, okay, I think that's a better angle. <laughs> so I, um, I'm just home from shopping with Keris. We decided that we would go to, oh look, there we go. Uh, we just decided we would go today and sort of get on with a bit more of our Christmas shopping. We don't have a lot to buy for. We don't have a lot of people to buy for. <laughs> and, you know, myself and Karis are just not really great shoppers at all. We kind of go with great intentions. And then halfway through, Karis kind of looks at me and I look at her and I go, yeah, I've had enough. Have you had enough? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're home now. I'm not feeling great again. I have that really, like, I'm feeling really cold, like my hands are freezing and my stomach is a bit sickly as well. So I just thought I'd come up here to my sewing room. I don't know if I'll do any sewing. I might just interface the pieces for the wren top. I just like to bring the kittens up because they really enjoy a little run around up here and it's nice and warm. They haven't quite met the dogs yet to go into the living room and they have learned all about the Christmas tree now at the moment. So generally when we bring them into the living room like we did yesterday, we put the dogs into the kitchen and they're quite happy in the kitchen because they curl up on the chairs and the three dogs are quite old. So um, yeah, they're happy out. And then these two go mental in the living room. So we haven't, yeah, we haven't quite introduced them all together yet. I think it's a bit much, three old dogs, two crazy kittens. Mm. But anyway, we, we will. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there and like block out Karis's mannequin in like full bra, it's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, the last time I was talking to you today, I had just done a little video of the Christmas window in that lovely little shop in Pretumna. And um, I just wanted to tell you about the window. So it's a lovely little village snow scene that they do every year. And all the pieces of the village are on loan to them from the family of the previous owner. So we live in this little village just outside of that town and it's a quite, it's a very small little town. So all the kids from around here go in there to that town for their school, their secondary school. So from when they're like age 13 to 18 or 12 to 17, you know, the kind of age group. And since I was at school, in fact, not long after I left school, um, a new secretary started working there. And she's only she was only a couple of years older than me. I remember her at school. So she started working there and she was the loveliest girl called Anne. And she was still the secretary in the school when uh, my kids went to school there. So if you wanted to know anything about anything in the school, you asked Anne. And if the kids needed anything from the office, as in photocopying, 
anything like that, or general questions, the teachers would say, go and ask Anne in the office. So it was known as Anne's office. <laughs> and Anne was, she was just an amazing person. Um, she started a school newsletter and every, like every week she wrote up and printed out and distributed the newsletter and if the kids had anything to tell her about it was put into the newsletter so if they won anything at any sort of sporting event if any of the students achieved anything outside of the school so my two were in it for karate every now and again you know if they won at a competition or anything and um, if there was anything going on in the town like swimming or do you know the kind of thing so and she loved hearing anything that she could add into the newsletter she was absolutely lovely if we went in for a parents teacher evening and um, we needed anything we'd go to Anne in the office and she'd print it out for us. If you needed to talk to any of the teachers you rang you talked to Anne in the office. <laughs> so where where I'm eventually going with this is Anne, yeah who was the loveliest person, um, she was well all of a sudden Anne wasn't well and Anne wasn't at school and it transpired that Anne had been diagnosed with like a very aggressive form of cancer. And she fought it, like that girl fought as hard as she could, but unfortunately um, the cancer was just too aggressive. And I think by the time she had been diagnosed, it was actually at a very late stage. So yeah, Anne wasn't in the school. And Anne eventually passed away. And it was like such a horrendous time for obviously her family and her friends and the students and the teachers. And it took a long time before the school actually got another secretary instead of Anne. And it wasn't as though Anne could ever be replaced because Anne was a very special person. But um, Anne collected all of that village. So Anne had a fascination and a love of Christmas. And she collected all of that village and she used to put uh, like her village together at home. So when Anne passed away, her parents I suppose probably must be friends. I'm surmising this now, but they must be friends with the people in that shop. And Anne probably made an impression in that shop anyway. It would be the kind of shop that Anne would really like. She was very, very crafty. She was really brilliant at things like calligraphy and all loads of things. And yeah, so every year the family give the shop the village and they display it in the window. And it's really, really nice because it's it like brings Anne's memory back to life every year because everybody knew Anne because everybody's children went to school in that school and they always knew you rang Anne in the office. So it's actually, it's really touching every year to go into the town and have this lovely memory of Anne because she touched so many people's lives and she was just such a helpful person and nothing was ever too much, you know, that type of person. So yeah, that's the, that's the window display um, in the town and they do such a beautiful job of setting it up and it looks different every year, which is really lovely. So um, yeah, I just thought that was really nice to film today. I did ask the, the shop for permission to do so. And uh, yeah, so Karis had her eye appointment today and yeah, her she needed a change in um, her lenses. And she also asked them as well if they could like do one of those like blue finishes on the lenses so that it would be easier and less tiresome on her eyes for the computer. Uh, so she's got that done and um, yeah, so it's great to have great to have that job done before Christmas. I really wasn't expecting to get an appointment. I just realised the pin box is open and Mindy comes straight over because she wants pins in her mouth, don't you? Oh no, it's Wanda, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, myself and Karis went to Athlone today. So that's a town uh, about 45 minutes of a drive away and I really like it actually because you don't have to walk too far to any shops and there's two shopping centres and we had great plans to go to both of them today but yeah one was enough it was enough and it was really pretty there it was lovely and we got a nice um coffee and a bun midway through shopping so i will throw in a little video of that at the end and um, yeah we've come home um we bought the now tv stick so i signed up to now tv the other day because i wanted to watch the sex in the city um, new episodes. We were watching one last night on my laptop, like plugged into the TV and um, yeah, it was really weird. I actually thought it was really weird watching it because clearly the actors and actresses, whatever, they've got older, but it was really weird. And they're talking about all 
um, like social media and Instagram and podcasts and everything. And it's just, it's just a bit weird. I don't know if I liked it. I really, yeah, I don't know if I liked it. And now, funnily enough, we got the Now TV USB stick or HDMI stick, whatever. Kara saw it and she goes, we need that. Um, so that we could put it into our TV because I don't think our smart TV is smart enough. <laughs> so we plug that in and Karis then put on Friends. And again, that was really weird because, yeah, the actors have aged. <laughs> and, yeah, really weird. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, really weird. So look, look at my little friend walking around. So I thought, yeah, I'd come up to, um, yeah, finish off what I was talking about in the car today and then kind of sign off and say, yeah, today, 21, shortest day of the year, shortest day of the year. Yeah, this is my dad's birthday today, actually. My dad passed away in 2006 and we calculated today that he would have been 74 today, which is very young <laughs> still. And um, yeah, so yeah, 74 today. And um, there's always something, I always know it's going to be his birthday, obviously, but there's always something that pops up during the day. And I, really, I think very fondly of my dad, or I, you know, I'd say just, God, dad would have loved that, or dad would have said that, or dad would have thought this, or dad would have told me, you know, that's what you should do, or dad, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, we have lovely fond memories of my dad today. And yeah, I'm gonna sign off. I'm going to do just a little bit of sewing. I've got my Wren dress out there. I think Mindy's going to help me with it. <laughs> Some help. And um, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow because I could keep waffling on. Sorry, that was 10 minutes of... Oh, they just, you know, they'll play with anything, won't they, cats? Yeah, anything. I gave them a big piece of paper today, actually. Um, a piece of a pattern that I printed by mistake or maybe it half printed when the roller ran out but I crumpled it up today and they had the greatest fun playing with that big sheet of paper <laughs> so yeah um thanks ever so much for watching today and thanks for all the comments on all of my vlogmases so far and tomorrow is the 22nd so that means there's only 23 more days and then it's the big day which means that it's only three days of advent calendar opening still oh <laughs> thanks so much bye
that's the neckline bit done with a little help from my friends. 